Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. Oh, look at all your toys here. <laughs> levels, huh? Talking about levels. Everybody knows what a level is, right? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't Every garage has business. a two-foot level in it, or maybe even a torpedo level in it. Yep. They're handy and they're good when you got to hang a pitch or something like that. Level or plumb, pretty right. easy to use. But I want to talk about levels that we use to level out a, a job site or inside a house when you're setting cabinets or windows, all kinds of different so things. So over a much longer distance, if you want right. to get a point from here to there, this is limiting. Right, exactly. Okay. So let's start with a laser level right here. I think all the trades use a laser level for something sets a beam and that's a reference that we reference off of and it's fantastic in a room all right now if i wanted to know a plumb line i could just push a button and i got a plumb line to go by yep there it is okay so i can hang a door or whatever i want and that's oh. just 90 degrees to level right and there you go 90 degrees to level both of them right there okay? but these are limited inside a house if you need to use the level from room to room to room it's basically line of sight so anything that blocks that beam, like a wall, means you're not going to get it where you want it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So this is a level that I've used for many years. It's actually a water level. So basin of water filled up almost to the top, and yep. then you've got the tube going around, which comes out. So think of water. You're at the beach, and you look at the horizon over the water. That is exactly level. Always is. The water always seeks is. its own level. So I fill that with water, and I fill the tube with water. And now, because water will seek its own level, wherever that water stops, that's the exact height of that water right there. This point, that point, identical. Right. Okay. So if I wanted to find a level line in a room, or put a level line in a room, I would go from one corner of the room to the other corner of the room, and I would take my tubing, put it against the wall, and watch the water. Look at that, moving towards the line. Actually, the water's not moving, is it? The exactly, tube is moving. Exactly. Uh, so I'm putting the tube down. Now it's going to, when it stops. It's got to settle a little bit. Right. That spot is perfectly level with our basin. Right. Put a mark. There's one mark. Now I would go to another part of the room and put another mark, snap a line between those two lines, and that is exactly level. And that mark is identical to this height of the water right there. That's the key right there. Water uh, seeks its own level. Very cool. So now I can take this and go to another room. I can go 50 feet away, it around the corners, corner. Yeah. As long as we don't move this container, that line will be level all the way through the house. You can use it outside too, right? If you were Absolutely. About just I used it outside to set a row when we're setting windows, building a house, or whatever. We use it for setting all kinds of things that we want level. I could take clapboards and stuff like that, start nice. in each corner, snap a line, boom, I'm okay. level. Okay. But here's one right here that works on the idea of pressure, but it's atmospheric pressure. So, atmosphere, so air has weight, yeah. and the sort of volume of air down low is going to be heavier than up here. Right. And this knows the difference? Right. And so an airplane, when it flies, it knows how high it's flying by the atmospheric pressure of the air. I hope All right, so. or the lack of. I hope so. All right, so basically I would set this at zero, and this would be my beginning point, and then I have a reading right here. Mm. I could go 50 feet, 150 feet away, and I would read what my measurement is. If it was like zero there, then I knew that it's exactly level here. So it's not just telling you in relation to your set point, but it's also going to give you a number. So if you end up sticking it somewhere and it's eight, says eight inches, that means it's eight inches higher than the zero mark. Unless it was negative eight, because it could be in, see, so it would tell you that. But again, this can't move yep. just like this. I love it. Very right. clever. Okay. Very handy, great landscapers. I think Jen uses one of these, great for doing grades and setting walls and pitches, all kinds of things. Very good. Good information. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.